Hey guys, welcome to vtshacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about basic sets operations and their intersection of sets. So here we are going to discuss this topic in two sections. So first we are going to discuss about introduction to the intersection of sets and then we are going to discuss about some basic sets operations. So first let us discuss about intersection of sets. So here the intersection of the two sets A and B is a set of elements which are common to A and B. Now let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here. So here we have an example as A is equal to 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 and we have the elements of the set B as 7 comma 8 comma 9 comma 10. And here we denote this symbol for writing the intersection of two sets. Now let us find the intersection of the two sets A and B. So we get here A intersection B is equal to the elements of A are 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 intersection the elements of B are 7 comma 8 comma 9 comma 10. So here we have only two common elements 7 and 8 in both the sets A and B. So we get here the elements of A intersection B as 7 comma 8. So this we can write in set builder form as x such that x belongs to A and x belongs to B. Now let us represent A intersection B in the form of a Venn diagram. Here let us draw a rectangle which represent a universal set. So here we have drawn the two Venn diagrams and this diagram represent the set A and this diagram represent the set B. And here this is the common part where we write the common elements of both A and B. So we have here the common elements at 7 and 8 let us write here. And in set A we have the remaining elements as 5 and 6. And similarly we have the remaining elements in the set B as 9 and 10. Let us write over here. So here this is the basic introduction on the intersection of any two sets. Now let us discuss some basic sets operations on intersection of sets. So here we have the first property as commutative property. And here a commutative property states that if two or more numbers are added or multiplied the result remains the unchanged irrespective of its order. Symbolically we can represent it as a plus b is equal to b plus a in addition and in multiplication we represent it as a into b is equal to b into a. And now to explain this concept in the set theory, let us consider an example. So here we have the elements of set A as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and we have the B set as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And now let us find A intersection B and B intersection A. So first let us find A intersection B. So here the elements of A are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Intersection the elements of B are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now let us mark the common elements in both the sets. So here we have the common elements as 2, 4 and then 6. So here we get the elements of this set as 2, 4, 6 as the intersection of A and B. Now let us find B intersection A. So here we have the elements of B as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And we have the elements of set A as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here let us mark the common elements in both the sets. We get here 2, 4 and then 6. So here in this set we get the elements as 2, 4, 6 as the B intersection A. 
So here we observe that the elements in the A intersection B are the elements of B intersection A. By this we can conclude that A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. Now let us discuss about associative property. So here the associative property states that the change in grouping of three or more elements does not change their sum or product. Symbolically it can be represented as A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C in addition and in multiplication we can represent it as A into B into C is equal to A into B into C. And now let me explain this concept with the help of an example. So here we have the elements of set A as 1 comma 3 comma 4 comma 6 comma 9 and the elements of B are 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 and we have the elements in the set C are 1 comma 2 comma 3 and we have to find here A intersection B intersection C and A intersection B intersection C. Now first let us find A intersection B. So here we have the elements in the set A as 1 comma 3 comma 4 comma 6 comma 9 intersection. The elements of B here are 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9. So we get the common elements in these two sets are 1, 3 and 9. So let us write here the elements of A intersection B. 1 comma 3 comma 9. Now let us find here A intersection B intersection C. So here the elements of A intersection B are 1 comma 3 comma 9 intersection the elements of C are 1 comma 2 comma 3. So let us mark the common elements in the both the sets. We get here 1 and 3. So here we get the elements of A intersection B intersection C as 1 and 3. Now let us find here A intersection B intersection C. So in order to find this, first let us find B intersection C. So here we have the elements of set B as 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9. Intersection the elements of C are 1 comma 2 comma 3. So here we have only two common elements 1 and 3. And we get here B intersection C as 1 comma 3. Now let us find A intersection B intersection C. So here we have the elements of A are 1 comma 3 comma 4 comma 6 comma 9 intersection and the elements of B intersection C are 1 comma 3. So here we have the common elements as 1 and 3. So here we get the elements in this set as 1 and 3. So here we observe that the elements of A intersection B intersection C belongs to A intersection B intersection C. So by this we can conclude that A intersection B intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection C. Now let us discuss about identity property. So here the identity property states that there is a special number when multiplied or added to any other number then the other number will still keep its identity and remains the same. So here when a is added to 0 or 0 is added to a we get the here the value as a and in multiplication any number when multiplied with 1 or 1 multiplied with any number we get the same result. And here to understand this concept in set theory, let us solve an example over here. So here we have a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and we have to find a intersection null set and also null set intersection a. Now let us find a intersection null set. So here the elements of a are 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 intersection and we don't get any elements for the null set as a null set is an empty set. So here the intersection of both the sets would be null set as there are no common elements 
in the both the sets. Now let us find null set intersection A. So as discussed above, a null set is an empty set. We don't get here any elements for a null set intersection and we have here the elements of A are 1, 2, 3, 4. So as here we don't have any common elements, we get here a null set. By this, we observe that the A intersection null set and null set intersection A are equal. By this, we conclude that A intersection null set is equal to null set intersection A. So, this was a basic introduction on basic sets operations under intersection. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtcacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.